guys, it's Beverly. Okay, today I wanted to come on and show you a yarn swap that I did with Denise. Hi, Denise. Denise is in Minnesota. Min, I like to say Minnesota. <laughs> See, I'm from Michigan. I got my Michigan shirt on. Michigan Roots. So, I am so excited to open this up. I cut it, but I didn't look. She did send me a picture, but I didn't look. So, what I wanted to show you is going to be some crinkling. She has some tape. I hope I can show you. See the llama? See the llama? This, this is tape. She taped it up with it. It's some kind of tape. It says, no problem llama. No problem, Lama. I think it's so cool. I noticed, Denise, I noticed. <laughs> so, the first thing I took out was a Lion Brand One Hat Wonder. And this is the one that goes with Elmo. Let's see what else comes out. Another Elmo. The knitted version of this hat is the best um they have a crochet version that comes with this um the crochet version is on the pattern no scratch the crochet version is on the lion brand website the knit version is on the label i'm pretty sure if i can see but anyway if you buy these and you want to make a hat the crochet hat comes out nice how, how could it not but the knit version comes out the best. So I got two, ooh, three. I'm reaching and I'm reaching in. Oh, there's a head. There's a head. And then this is a head. So that's cool. So that'll go with that. I got, it. okay, so what's her name? Her name is Abby. Crab Daddy, C R A D Baddy. <laughs> I don't know how to say that because I watched Sesame, Sesame Street, but not a lot. And I think she was a later character, but isn't she sweet? Look at that hair. I love that hair. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, another head, another Elmo. So I got three Elmos. Now, I got to tell you a story about this, okay? When these first came out, I, I'm on Etsy, as a lot of you guys know. I made some of these, and I put them on my Etsy shop, okay? I charged $10 for the hat, and this was on the top of the hat. Do you know that Sesame Street went after me for copyright? I got letters, so apparently they have trolls out there. And one little girl in Florida that decided to put it up and sell the hat that she made for $10, because these cost $6.99 when you get them. Sometimes you can get them for $4.99. Sesame Street went after me, and I had to show that I had only sold one for 10 bucks, And I'm sure that bankrupt um, Sesame Street or whoever owns Sesame Street but can you believe it you know because the thing that to me is I bought the yarn from Lion Brand I paid for this in this case Denise paid for it but they went after me for 10 bucks and then they they finally dropped it after they checked with Etsy that I had only sold one for 10 bucks but can you believe it these companies are so greedy. Ooh, there's another one. So there's hers. <laughs> so now I got two. Very cool. Now let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is cool. This is Buttercup. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and untie this. Okay, I'm back. Red Heart Buttercup, 
okay you guys and let's see one of them had a little bit hanging out so there's red hard buttercup it has a string and the um the poofies are off of the string and it's supposed to be with the poofies it's supposed to be a bulky number five it's 100 no it's 67 polyester and 33 nylon and i have a pattern that i use this yarn it's an older pattern from yarn inspirations i don't know let me see if it's on this label um hooded blanket no this is the hooded blanket and i'll show you the hooded blanket but here's the hooded blanket and this pattern is available on the red heart website but there's another pattern that i don't have it right off the top of my head um i'll look for it and attach it to the video that you can use this yarn with and um this recommends an l hook and i can't remember if i used an l or not but i'm definitely going to make this i'm definitely going to donate it and it's going to go to a charity that we have you know from our crochet club so that's what i got in my yarn swap with denise now what didn't i sent denise was um stitch please 100 percent wool stitch please and i think there was five of those little cakes and i don't i don't i'm not allergic to wool but i don't need wool i'm in florida <laughs> so unless i you know made something and was able to sell it over the internet wool is not a good product to donate you know i mean because they don't have the means to wash it properly is what i'm thinking so that's what i got from denise in the yarn swap i mean isn't it too fun i think this is like too fun oh so i want to tell you about my craft show so saturday this is monday october 2nd and my craft show was september 30th and i did really super well i sold a lot of the swiffer dusters um and I sold a lot of the Swiffers that go on the mop and dust thingy. <laughs> I sold a lot of those. And I sold a lot of hanging towels, you know, with the towel toppers. I sold a lot of those. And I sold a couple hats. And I, uh, and I sold uh, some ear warmers or headbands. I sold some of those. And I'm still working on baby blankets. Um, I got the blue one done, and it's up for sale on Amazon. And then I'm working on the pink one, and I should have it done today. So I got to go back to the factory and crochet some more. Okay, you guys. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.